Hey guys and gals, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. In this short video, I wanna show you a powerful new feature that's been added to forms and surveys, and that is math calculations. So this is super powerful, and let me give you an example of where you would use something like that. Let's say we wanna have a form or a survey where we ask people, how much money are you spending a month for your email service? For example, ActiveCampaign, MailChimp, etc. How much money are you spending a month for web hosting like ClickHubs or WordPress, etc.? How much are you paying for your CRM each month? How much are you paying for your memberships each month? And then in real time, we can show that number and we can do a math formula that says, let's add all these up and then minus our monthly service fee, which starts at $97 a month. And you'll be saving, for example, $477 a month. We can show that in real time. We can also do certain actions based on that number. So we can say, if you're saving more than $97 a month, we're gonna send you to a sales page that says, hey, you are saving $477 a month, and it will print that number in real time. We can have an order form on there, sign up for your free 14-day trial, or if it's exactly $97 a month, then we can send them to a different sales page, maybe one with a booking calendar, that says, hey, you're paying about the same as you would with ClickHubs, but we believe you're gonna be able to save a ton of money. Book a call so we can show you exactly how we can save you hundreds of dollars every month. Or if it's less than $97 a month, we can do the same thing. We can send them to another calendar. We can send them to a different sales page. We can also do automations based on what that value is and things like that. So this is really, really powerful. Another example is if you're a fitness coach, you might want to have a calculator that is showing people their BMI. So maybe they enter their height and weight, and then it shows their BMI. And based on what that actual number is, you can do different actions as well. You can send them to a different landing page. You can show a different field on the form based on how they answer. And so maybe you wanna have another question based on if their BMI is high or BMI is low or whatever. So this is really, really powerful and unlimited ways you can use this. I'm gonna show you how to do it on both forms and surveys. Surveys don't currently have conditional logic but it's coming soon. But even so, you can still use that data to do very powerful things in surveys. So let's jump into it. If you're not already subscribed to this channel, make sure to click that subscribe button, like this video and leave a comment, and let's get straight into the video and I'll see you on the other side. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use math calculations on forms. You can also do this on surveys if you'd like, and it functions the same way. So basically what we're gonna show you here will apply to surveys as well. And so an example here would be, I've got this form and I'm asking, how much do you spend a month for your services like ActiveCampaign, MailChimp, etc.? How much do you pay for monthly web hosting like ClickFunnels, WordPress? And how much does it cost you for CRMs monthly? And then down here, there's a field that says total savings, and this is going to show the savings. It's going to calculate in real time. I would probably hide this on the actual form, but then later I can do different actions based on how they answer this. So let's show you what I mean here. So if I fill this information out here, and then let's say I'm going to say $300 for active campaign, my web hosting is going to be 47 and my CRM is going to be 197 So now you can see total savings of 447 and now if I submit the form, I can use that value, the $447, and it says, congratulations, you can save $447 or more by switching to ClickHubs. Click here to get started with your first 14 days free. So that's very, very powerful. Another example might be if you were had a program for fitness or weight loss and you wanted to calculate somebody's BMI, you might be able to ask them what's your weight and what's your height, and then you can calculate their BMI. And from that, you can do different actions based on what that value actually was. Now, let me show you how powerful this is. I'll show you another example here. So in this example, we're going to make it less than $97. So this is the same form that we were using. And so now our total savings is negative 30, which means we're not going to save money by switching necessarily. So let's submit the form. And now you can see it looks like you're spending less currently than you'd pay if you switch to ClickHubs. But we're certain with our powerful suite of tools that we can save you time and money every single month. Let's schedule an appointment. So you can see it's a different message based on the calculation. And in our case, we have one for our monthly plan start at 97 a month. So we have one calculation if it's greater than 97, one if it's equal to 97, and one if it's less than 97. I'm gonna show you how to set all those up. And you can also do things instead of 
having a different message, you could send somebody to a different page based on how this value calculates. So if it's more than 97, I could send them to a landing page to sign up. If it's less than 97, maybe I could send them to a calendar page. You can also show and hide additional fields. So if you wanted to ask different questions based on what this answer works out to be, you can do that as well. So it's super powerful and it's super easy to set up. So I'm going to show you how to set that up and let's hop into the form builder and we'll get started on this right away. So we're going to jump into sites and forms again you can do this with service as well but we're going to do it with forms here and i'm just going to come in here and we're going to add a new form starting from scratch it's going to bring us directly into the form builder i'm just going to rename this calculator test 2 so we'll save that now the calculator fields, this works off of custom fields, and the custom fields have to be either a number field or a currency field. So those are the two that currently work. Coming soon, we'll also be able to do radio buttons, drop downs, and I think check boxes as well. So those are coming soon, but for now it's just a standard text field. And so if you come in here to add a form element and go to your custom fields, then you can select your fields from here. Or you can create your fields directly here. And if you create the fields, again, it has to be either a monetary field or a number field. So those are the two that are going to work. And then you can come in here and create your field, ask your questions, uh, whatever questions you want. So maybe let's say, how much do you spend monthly for a community app? Okay, so we'll do that. And then this is going to go into the additional info. You can have placeholders here if you want. And then we'll just save that as well. So now we've got our basic form here. So we're going to come into our custom fields and we're going to start by adding our additional info. So we're going to scroll down to the bottom here and we've got monthly cost for ESP, monthly cost for web hosting, monthly cost for CRM. And we worded this one a little different, but we would change this to match here, monthly cost for community apps. So we've got our custom fields added. So these are what people are going to enter the numbers amount and we're going to calculate based off of these. So now we need to go up into the quick add section here and scroll down and we're going to drag out the score. And you can see now we have this score here. So I'm going to change this to total monthly savings. And then I'm just going to change this query key to total monthly savings. And then you can, of course, edit your placeholders. Most likely you would probably want to hide this. So this field doesn't necessarily need to show to the end user. I'm going to leave it unhidden so we can see what's going on. And then you can decide in your forms if you want to show this real time calculation or not. I'm going to save this before I do any more. Uh, I like to save often. So now we're going to click again on the scoring field here and go to calculations. And then you can see we've got the option to add fields and also we can add our formula here. So first of all, I'm going to add a parentheses and then we're going to add all of these. So first this one and then plus, I'm going to select the other field plus the other field. And then we have one more field here which is this guy here. I'm going to close that out with the parentheses and then I'm going to minus $97, which is the cost of our starter ClickHubs plan. And that's going to show how much we're going to save. So that's really it. You can do division multiplication. And so you can get some basic formulas going here and then we're going to save this. And now let's preview this first of all, to see how the fields work. So we're going to fill out this information here. And then let's say I'm going to say 150. You can see it's changing here right now. So currently we're saving $50 a month. Here we're doing another 50 and here we're going to do 200. So this instantly shows the total monthly savings is $300, which is amazing. And so what we can do now is we can come in here back into the form and we can go up here to our conditional logic and we can set different conditional logic options here. So we have the option to redirect to a URL. So we could say if this value is greater than $97, maybe we go to a sign up page. If it's $97 or less than $97, maybe we go to book a call and we could have different messages there. We can also display a custom message here. When they submit the form, it's going to show a custom message. We can disqualify the lead if we want to, or we can show and hide different fields. So depending on how they answer, we may want to get additional information based on what that value is so we could say if total monthly savings is equal to let's say if it's less than $97 maybe we want to ask some additional questions then we could say show and then we can select different fields to show here 
or we can hide different fields or show multiple. So this is super powerful. We're gonna actually just set up a quick display message to show you how this works. So let's get this set up here. We're gonna set the first one up, display custom message. So if our monthly total savings is greater than 97, then we wanna display a custom message. So I'm just gonna paste this message in here and you can see we can use our merge values. So here is contact first name. That's a standard merge message here. And then here we have a dollar symbol and here's where we're gonna show the total savings. We need to make sure we grab the correct thing. So I'm gonna save this really quickly and get out of here. And then I'm gonna go over here to the content and this is the value that we wanna use here. So let's just copy that. And then we'll go back in here to the conditional logic and it looks like our message did not get saved so let's just paste that in here really quickly okay so let's just paste our message here and then we're going to copy this value and we're going to place that contact dot score total monthly savings you can also grab that if you go to the custom fields in your settings and view the custom field you can also get this whole thing to copy and paste so now this message is if somebody is saving 97 dollars or more so we're going to say if total monthly savings is greater than $97 and let's save that and let's save this field here now we're going to set up a second one that's going to be up oh, actually our first one did save so let's just change the second one here and we're going to say if it's equal to $97 and we're going to add a different message there. So for this one is equal to our message just says it looks like you're spending about the same and we're certain we can save you money. Let's schedule a call. Of course you would spend more time and craft this message better. I just threw this together really quickly for the purpose of the demo. So this is if it's equal to 97 so we'll save that and then we're going to add one more message which is if the total monthly savings is less than $97. So if the total savings is less than 97, let's add our message here. It looks like you're spending less currently than you'd pay if you switched over, but we're certain that we can save you money. Let us show you how. And I'm not displaying the total here since it's less, but you could display that as well. We just have the contact first name. So you can use any custom field merge values or the general merge values here. We'll save that and that's it. So we have three conditionals here. One if it's greater than 97, one if it's equal to 97, and a different message if it's less than 97. And then we wanna make sure to save that. And now if we preview this form, we'll do this again and let's just submit this. So here we've got 100, 200, 50, and 300. So we're gonna save $553 a month. Let's submit that. Congratulations, you can save $553 or more by switching to ClickHubs. And then of course, you would wanna have a link to a sign up page. I think it'd be better to send them to a page with that message and a sign up on there, a landing page. Okay, so now let's just show one more example here and we're gonna make it less than $97. So let's do that. You can see here the savings is minus 47, so really not saving any money. And then when we submit that, we're gonna get a different message. It says, looks like you're spending less than you'd pay if you switch to ClickHubs. And then it's going to try to convince them to set up a call so we can explain how you can save money. And so that's really it as far as the calculations go. They're very straightforward and it's super powerful, allowing you to create customized quizzes and surveys for your forms. And then depending on how those calculations work out, you can take different actions based on those. All right, guys and gals. So as you can see, this new math function that's been added to forms and surveys inside of ClickHubs, or if you have your own high level account, it's super, super powerful. It's a great way for you to start doing quiz funnels and things like that, where you can highly segment your audiences and target them much, much more effectively. And remember, the surveys don't have a conditional logic yet, but it's coming very soon. So it's gonna be very powerful when we can get this into a surveys, which is a little bit more interactive as well. So thanks for watching this video. Make sure to click the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed. Like this video and leave a comment and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.